Okay, so I've pressure washed and primed the walls. I did that with a brush this time because that gets less drips over everything. I didn't want to get this window covered in drips. And I'm now gonna take this tap off. I just turned the water off, I'm just draining it. I showed how I extended that tap earlier. I've got to take it off now so that I can fit a board over it. And then I'm gonna put the boards on here and then start working on this window frame. So I've cut and fixed these boards to make sure they're absolutely flush with the bit of wall here. But there's still a little bit of wall here and I want to insulate as much as possible around this bit so that I keep the window frame as warm as possible because one of the key things is we get condensation on the inside of this window. So I want to keep that as warm as possible. So I've got some insulation that's as thick as possible to fit in there. This is two and a half centimetres. And now I'm gonna use expanding foam to seal it in here. And I've got this contraption set up here in order to push it really well into that corner so that it seals as well as possible. Right, let's try and put some foam and seal it. Okay, I've given it a couple of hours to make sure this is really hard, and it is. So now I'm gonna slowly start taking it apart. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Bad. And now I'll put more insulation around there, finish it off, and then it'll be time for rendering. Right, just before it gets dark, I'm going to put this other piece of insulation in place, and I've got a much better way of doing it now. I've made that big piece of wood that fits perfectly in the frame, that holds it exactly vertical. One piece of wood here, which pushes against it, and then three pieces of wood just to keep it pushed in. So this should be much easier now. There's the foam in place. I'm just about to put this on. Well, it's in place now and I'll give it an hour or so to set and then that should be done as well. So I'm just going to put the boards in here up this bit of wall and as before I'm taking off this bit of trim here so that I can get the boards completely flush with this bit of wall and then that will enable me to put the insulation on the side here and that to marry up with both the wall and the insulation boards. So all the insulation is around the sides now. It wasn't too difficult to do. You can see up at the top meets at all the corners and it's well sealed with that expanding foam. Now what I need to do though is cut off a little bit of the side here to make it flush with this insulation board. So I found out that it's actually quite easy to do that with a blade like this. Even a kitchen knife I think would do quite well. So I'm just going to go all the way around it, cut it off like this, making sure it's nice and flush. Okay, that's done now. The insulation's all in place around that window frame. There's a few learnings from that. Firstly, with that expanding foam, I did have a few minutes of work time with that, maybe three or four. At first I thought I might only have one or two, 
and so I tried to put it on really quickly. But after you've put that expanding foam on the insulation, you do have a few minutes of work time and that's useful. Then another learning was when cutting those boards, it was useful to cut them gently and slowly because that gave a much nicer edge on them. It became very jagged if you cut them fast. Another one was it was very useful to get those boards exactly the right size. So I went to my local hardware store to buy 25 millimeter boards and that's quite easy to get. So it's worth sizing them and then buying the insulation to size, I think. Finally, at the end, it was very easy just to use that blade just to cut the edges off to make it flush with the boards next to it. You could even, I think, use a kitchen knife for that. Right, next thing to do is to put the beading on, put the mesh on and actually render this window frame. So that's going to be the subject of a future video.